Domo Irigato, this is Mr. Roboto. Half Price Books has a section of the store where they sell old magazines. And I'll go back there every once in a while and look to see if they have anything new in and anything comic related or anything interesting. And sometimes I find some stuff. There's nothing too crazy in here. I picked up this issue of Conan Saga just because it had a great cover. Savage sort of Conan number 54. Nothing special about that other than I wanted to read it. Picked up this issue of Mad Magazine number 105 from September of 1966. This is a blast from the past for me. I had this book when I was a kid. Loved Mad Magazine and loved this issue. Uh, I wish it wasn't so yellowed. I might try and find a better copy because I think I might like to frame that. This was only 50 cents. It's uh, Erie, number 14. This is from 1967. Comicology. Uh, I picked this up because it has this really lengthy Mike Allred interview. I love Mike Allred. And um, there's the back side of it. There's a story on the X-Men, but um, half of it is... An interview with Mike Allred. Of course, covered a lot of his work on Mad Men. Conan Saga 11. This is a reprint, obviously, but it's a great Neil Adams cover. Wizard Magazine Collector's Edition, X-Men Turn 30. Look at that nice, shiny cover. Very cool. Star-Lord, number 10. In full, brilliant Marvel color. I haven't opened that. I'm going to have to take a look at that one. Unknown Worlds of Science Fiction. Now, I think I got into comic books really due to my love of science fiction. I used to love reading science fiction stories. And I remember buying and reading this magazine. Uh, this has a famous story in here, an adaptation of Behold the Man, which was by Michael Moorcock. And that's what she said. But it's a um, really cool, cool magazine. There's an ad in here for Star-Lord. I think this is um, before his first, uh, first issue. This is a great story. It was called Mind Games. And it's about an individual in the future who was fighting a war. Well, actually, in 1980... The Eastern Front, 1980, and this magazine is from 1975. Yeah, it wasn't that much in the future. Anyhow, he... Something happens, and he meets God. And then he meets the devil. And then I... I he goes insane. It was kind of like um, Jacob's Ladder, that movie, if you've ever seen it. Where the guy was actually in the hospital. Anyhow, great stuff. Unknown Worlds of Science Fiction number five. This one had... Um, an adaptation of Larry Niven's All the Myriad Ways. This also had a crazy story here in the back called Half-Life. Really great art. Uh, I'm trying to see who the artist is. Really very trippy stuff. The guy ends up on the moon. And he's like frozen solid.
story and art by newcomer John Allison. Hmm. Let's see. Marvel Preview presents Star Lord number 15. Haven't read that one. Who's Who in the DCU. Haven't even looked at that. Same thing with this. I'm big on Star Wars. I don't know why I bought this. I thought maybe it was kind of kind of fun to read. I haven't looked at it yet. Same thing with this one, number five. Ghost Rider in the Midnight Suns magazine. Punisher magazine, number six. Marvel Preview 93. Man, this thing is like mint. This is from March of 93. I actually charged $3.95 for this. There's nothing really too interesting in here, honestly. Here's Marvel Year in Review 92. This one's called Scathing Self-Satire. It was a throbbing cyanic pain that just wouldn't go away. And when I have a headache, I'm not the only one who suffers. So he uses Excedrin. I Married a Scrawl. I remember this, that... Johnny Storm actually married Alicia Masters, the thing's girlfriend, which got a, you know, real dick move. But turns out she was actually a Skrull, which I guess makes Johnny Storm a Skrull fucker. Sun's rays are deadly. Sunblock 3000. Retirement can be murder. What's a kingpin to do with his golden years? And then I save the best for last. Outlaw Biker Tattoo. 